Alright, hey YouTube, and welcome to the next part of the Wizard 101 walkthrough. So right there, you saw we just finished getting the umbrella from these burglars, and let's go talk back to uh, Emily Chesterfield. Oh, you found it! Oh, my family will be so pleased. Do let Officer Darby know I'm willing to press charges. Alright, so let's go uh, back to Mr. Darby here, report that she is willing to press Excellent, charges. Young wizard. You not only found an umbrella, but have given me a leg up on the O'Leary investigation. With all the thefts, you'd think we'd find loot on the O'Learys we arrest, but we don't. They must be keeping the goods someplace safe. Let's split up, have a look inside that warehouse, and I'll coordinate with my men here. Alright, so uh, now we need to go to the warehouse, but uh, I think I talked to Miss Conroy first. So, um... Yeah, see right there. I couldn't make up my mind, so I uh, decided to go to Miss Conrail and uh, meet you guys over there. You managed it, did you? Regular lot of convicts with all these lockpicks, aren't they? No time to muck around. Take these lockpicks to the Hyde Fraternity House in the upper left-hand corner of your map. Find Baxter before the O'Learys know we found him. Go quickly. Alright, so now we have to go quickly find Baxter. And I believe uh, now we go to the warehouse. So, you know, going back and forth here. Uh, <laughs> I cut ahead though, it's a really long walk. You might want to turn on the teleporter over here. And, uh, yeah, right here, you have, I was just checking for a scrap iron. Sometimes it's hidden over there. But another, nevertheless, let's go uh, on these sigils go into this warehouse see what we find in here all right so we have to defeat uh, patches O'Leary and uh, I believe he's an ice boss so he could be kind of annoying you know with his uh, uh, tower shields and everything so you might want to watch out for that. Um, as far as uh, interesting drops or anything like that, he doesn't really have anything uh, too interesting. Um, the only things that might be worth noticing, he drops a uh, deck of the Banshee, um, which is uh, a death deck for level 30 plus, I believe. Um, and he drops also the deck of the Phoenix. And these decks are no auction, by the way. Um, but the uh, deck of the Phoenix is auctionable, so, uh, but other than that, he doesn't drop really anything, uh, too spectacular, no crown items, nothing like that, um, so not really worth farming, actually, uh, you're gonna see what I get at the end of this battle, as far as drops go, um, but yes, sorry for not uploading lately, it's been really crazy and hectic in the house here. <laughs> Uh, mainly with construction, I just haven't been in the house myself too much, so there's that. Um, after this part, I think I'm gonna just try to do the uh, Q&A video, because um, I think we've gathered, gathered enough questions for now. You can go ahead and still keep asking, um, but yeah. <laughs> Still keep asking questions for now, but uh, uh, just know that I will have the uh, Q&A video up pretty soon uh, after our this goes up. So again, for Patches O'Leary, um, not too much uh, strategy. Just gonna, you know, your conventional uh, trap, blade, feint, you know, do that type of stuff. And right here, I just uh, bust out the vampire. <laughs> I do think this kills him, I'm not sure. Let's see, is 870 enough? I don't know how much his HP was. <laughs> Apparently it is enough. You find crates of stolen goods. And right there you saw we got the we actually got the deck of the Banshee. Um so we probably got the best drop from him. Um but I'm not gonna use it because uh I don't really like, you know, decks with a lot of cards in it. Um, but it could be useful if you want to really stack up on death spells, because it allows, I believe, like four or five copies of death spells. So, yeah, if you really want 
Yeah, it's max five uh, death copies. So as you can see there, get up to five of death type spells, and I mean that can be useful sometimes. Um, but I don't think a fight in Marley Bone is gonna last so long that you're gonna need you know like five skeletal pirates. <laughs> so but yeah, let's go back to Officer Darby. And here's a stone block. Always get those reagents. And we got a fossil. Look at that. That's a nice pickup right there. They stole quite a bit, didn't they? You've made a lot of people happy, myself included. Alright, so. Uh, now I believe. Uh, go to. Yes, talk to uh, good old Baxter here. He's also. Nice long walk. And here's, I think, another teleport. I'm not sure if that's the last one or not. And right there, I just looked if there's any scrap iron. Uh, there isn't. Even though we already completed the crafting quest, uh, just still, you know, reagents never uh, never go wrong with picking them up <laughs> if they're there. You might need them for the future or something. Help! I'm being kidnapped! Don't let the metal man take me! You will not have this one, wizard. We must return with him to our master. Resistance is futile. Alright, so now we have to defeat this uh, gearhead guy. Um, so, I don't know, he had that creepy <laughs> voice there. I see him just sending off my deck. Um, he is a storm boss and he does have uh, the spell weakness. Uh, so, which the, the reason I mentioned that is because uh, storm and myth uh, creatures usually don't have weakness. Uh, but there are a few exceptions, and this gearhead guy is one of them. Um, he does have the spell weakness, so that can get annoying. He has, I believe, 1,000 health, so... Um, that could be pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, so he has 1,000 health. As far as drops go, uh, there are some, isn't aren't. Yeah, that's, that's funny. No, no interesting drops here. Uh, no, like you know, crown items or anything. So no really reason to farm this guy at all. He's just you know, after you finish this quest, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is kind of the same thing. Uh, we have the weakness on me and stuff. Yeah, I just get rid of it here. Um, and he's accompanied by the old eerie napper guy. It's probably. Uh, why, uh, probably kidnap Baxter, uh, for all we know. <laughs> but, uh, while this battle rolls on, and while this little napper guy fizzles, um, we're almost at 1,200 subs, <laughs> so that's just amazing. Uh, we're at 1198, so, you never know, maybe by the time this video goes up, we'll be at 1,200. Um, and that'll be just insane, guys. Thank you so, so much for the support. Um, after... It's called. Uh, after this and after the q and I'm going to have um, more games coming to this channel. Um, also, obviously, I'm going to keep the Wizard 101. That's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have the Jack and Daxter. I'm also going to have some Crossfire videos That now that I'm moving my channel, my main channel, over to this channel. Um, there's that. So expect just a more variety of videos coming to this channel, um, and I, that I hope you guys <laughs> will enjoy. Here, I just don't know what to use and what not to use, and because uh, if you put a death trap on your Leo Napper and then use a vampire, it won't kill him. He'll have like a little bit of HP left. If I had a death blade, I would have definitely used it. Right here, we get down to the under thousand, so. It can be scary, especially when you're reversing uh, a, a storm-type boss or even creature. Because, you know, they have those hard-hitting spells, and they're both at three pips, so... You know, and he has a storm trap on me. <laughs> and there's, like, a Cyclops, so, you know... Thinking this can't be good right here, so let's see how much this Cyclops does in 402. So, you know, we're down to 585, but, uh, I don't think even a storm shark... It does the highest amount of damage, even with the trap will kill me. Um, but he does use a storm battle. Look how low we're gonna get down at 241, so that's just wow. And right here, though, do get off the vampire. This white death is just amazing. We get to heal right now. And we kill this Oliver Napper guy. 
So we're gonna get about a nice 335, I'd say, HP back. Yep. And we take care of the O'Leary Napper. So if we didn't, if that didn't heal us, he probably could have killed us with another storm bat. I don't know what he used here, but uh, he just put our storm trap. So. Right here, I do think this kills him, the skeletal pirate. So. Yep, I think this should definitely get yeah, 1069. So that's gone. Don't let them take me. No. So apparently they still got him. I, I don't know, but here's the another book pedestal for this quest. For ancient books. Martybone. Martybone was once a land filled with ancient dog tribes who warred with each other constantly. The tribes battled each other with tooth and bone until one rose up to unite them. Bayormut, a mighty hunter, won over all the other clans by defeating them in a mighty battle. Because of the great loss of life, it was sworn then that all dogs should only strive for peace. Since then, the tribes began to pursue the betterment of all dogs through the arts and sciences. Alright. Let's go talk back to Miss Conrail here. Uh, cut heads are obviously it's a long walk, they took so... Baxter? Well, I know you did all you could. Maybe there is still hope. Tell Mr. Bones that the clockwork has Baxter. Maybe he can sort the whole thing out. Best of luck, wizard. Okay, so uh, now I have to do the. I believe that's the last quest for uh, actually Hyde Park, as far as main quests go. We still have a couple of uh, side quests to take care of. Uh, it's gonna be with these O'Leary uh, Scurriers that we gotta start off with. Um, and they're ice type. I don't think we fought these guys before. I don't know. I'm, I don't. Can't remember. Um, but uh. I do just speed the battle up, cause uh, they're pretty weak. I think that's 425 HP. So, I mean, nothing too spectacular, nothing too difficult here. Uh, again, they do have the tower shield, as you see right there. Um, so those that can just be annoying. Uh, but luckily, we do go first. So if you go first, tower shields aren't as bad. Um, but you gotta hate it when uh, you, you want to attack and they just cast it on that same turn. You're just like wow. But. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah. So this is part 81, guys. 81. Uh, you know, can't wait till we get to, and of course, you know, me and my fizzles right there. Can't wait till we get to a uh, part 100, or you know, around there. Um, and also the uh, subscriber meetup that I'm planning on having, Wizards. Um, kind of been actually, obviously delayed because I haven't been uploaded in like the past, I'd say, two weeks. So uh, that's my fault. But basically, again, this subscriber meetup, if you're still wondering, will happen when I finish most of Marley, well, not all of it. Um, and we'll just be doing, you know, like, you know, random dungeons and, you know, that type of stuff. And I'll be recording it and posting it in the walkthrough. So you guys will uh, be able to enjoy that. And uh, I'll answer more questions when the day actually comes, uh, if you have any. Um, because I know there's probably going to be a ton of questions. When is... I don't even know myself when it's going to be. Um, I'll probably do it on a weekend. Because that's probably going to be the best for everyone. Uh, right there. Killed two of them. We actually get a dry eye treasure card. Which is pretty nice. Uh, considering that these are just normal guys on the street. <laughs> and they don't really drop anything good. But a dry eye treasure card is definitely a nice pickup. And I believe I just cut this next battle out. Because uh, there's no point in showing it. So we actually <laughs> leveled up in that battle. And that was really uh, funny. Because, uh, I don't know, leveling, le leveling up in a battle is... I don't like it. I don't know why. It just feels less special to me than when a you complete a quest. Job. I expected no less from a wizard of your stature. I hate to say it, but these O'Leary's don't seem to be taking a hint. If I'm not overstepping my bounds, I wager someone's getting the old gang back together. Officer Darby rubs his chin for a moment. I have an idea. Defeat the O'Leary burglars. You get them running scared, someone's bound to make a mistake. And I'll be there to see it. Alright, so, um... 
I think now it says we have to defeat an O'Leary Burglar, and I do just that. Uh, don't show it, because there's no point, really. We fought in dozens of O'Leary Burglars, so... <laughs> um, and Officer Darby's a pretty short walk, so I don't cut it out or anything. And let's go talk to him. With the burglars on the run, I've got a good feeling about this. We're in luck. You scared the burglars. So one told me who's in charge. This bloke Sammy's looking to take over the O'Leary gang. Too bad for him that you're in town. Take Sammy O'Leary down. Alright, so now I have to go defeat Sammy O'Leary. And uh, cut ahead to him. Uh, sorry, uh, let's go enter his tower here. Again, make sure to uh, have your deck set up uh, correct from battle to battle. Um, let's f let's see. I hope you're happy with the fate you've chosen by walking in here, kid. Alright, so right here I'm just showing you guys what I have in my deck set up. Again, uh, faint, uh, death trap, death blader. Probably the only things you'll need, and as well as some vampires, and maybe skeletal pirates. Uh, interesting drops for Sammy O'Leary. Not really anything special. No crown items. Um, he drops a Watchman's deck, which could be considered kind of rare. Uh, I don't know, because I don't see a, I don't see it in the bazaar a lot. I don't see a lot of people have the Watchman's deck. Um, but other than that, yeah, doesn't drop anything too special. So again, no reason to farm this guy either. He is an ice boss. Uh, he does have the tower shield, but he does not have uh, weakness. Um, so he doesn't have a weakness spell, which is uh, pretty good for us. And uh, <laughs> right here, boom, dead. One turn, I think that was, or one or two turns. Skeletal pirate. Um, and that was like the quickest boss kill Wizard 101 Samuel Leary ever. <laughs> No, I'm joking, but, um, yeah, that was just great. If you get the boss out of the way, uh, you get basically most of the troubles out of the way. Now all we got is just the only Reese Carrier guy left. And, uh, I'll put an extra blade just because in case he weakens or puts a tower shield or something like that. So, kind of a preparation type thing. I don't even know if they have weakness to the only Reese Carriers. So, I'm going to check right now, actually, uh... No, they do not. They don't have weakness, but they do have tower shield. So. Ah, uh, there's that. Um, imagine they had both weakness and tower shield. <laughs> That'd be uh, pretty annoying. I think right here, yeah, he does use it, because, you know, my luck is awesome. And uh, I do think he'll just be like a wand attack I'm dying after, though. Because we do have that extra blade up, so... And leave your comments, how are you guys liking, liking the walkthrough so far? Is, is it good, bad, what needs improving? What do you want to see in it? So, just in case I know in the future to make it better. I uh, uh, love reading you guys' comments and opinions. So, yeah, right here, just probably going to use a wand attack to uh, finish him off. Right there. And now, I guess and he's still not... <laughs> So I can't really see the HP because of the uh, I'm on the Sony Vegas and uh, the preview screen. No matter how big I make it, I don't want to make it like too gigantic though, because then I can't see all the clips and editing and stuff. But uh, I can't see the HP, so sorry. Now we kill him. <laughs> so right there, you get a cap of the black mantle. That might just be a good sell at the bazaar. Let's go talk. Uh, oh no, we're not gonna go talk back to anyone. So. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to Officer Darby on the next part. So, see you guys next time.